come to the arena. And Barca look like the favorites to go through to the next round. No, no, no. This is way too violent for me. Listen to the crowd, Chengis. What are they saying? Kill Chengis! Kill Chengis! I think they're saying kill Chengis. Forza Roma! The hells are looking richtig fantastic. We got this new Instagram filter. Hold on, let me see if it works. What's up, big boys, and welcome to the Hero Costa Spinalist, the savior, quite literally, the savior of Rome Episodia. Now, yesterday was one of the most insane footballing experiences. If you watch Champions League, it was one of the craziest footballing experiences that you could ever experience on TV, uh, unless you were obviously there. Uh, Liverpool beat Manchester City. Uh, Pep at one point was sent to the stands for contesting the Leroy Sané goal, which I think was ri ridiculous. Not only should the Sané goal have counted, but I can't believe that this ref, apparently he does the, a lot of the same things in Spain, um, the zero hairline ref, uh, sent Pep Guardiola into the stands for basically just like saying it should have been a goal in maybe a little bit of a heated manner. But anyway, shouldn't have been sent to the stands was absolutely ridiculous. But more importantly, Barca faced off versus Roma. Roma needed to do the impossible to pull it off. And of course, in true savior fashion, it is the guy with 10 finishing what? in FIFA 18. One of the lowest finishing, if not, I believe, the worst finishing player in FIFA 18 manages to put it by and send Barcelona packing home. Now, really quickly, before we go further in the epi, if you're a Barca uh, supporter, just be happy. I, 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 a lot of people were sending, dude, some, some people were even sending me tweets saying, like, give me the number for a suicide hotline. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. If you're a Barcelona supporter, you're gonna win La Liga. You've got, uh, you won Champions League, what was it, 2015, 2016? I mean, I know it's the Real Madrid show right now. They won it like four of the past, whatever, six years or whatever. Um, but just keep your head held up, uh, held high. You're gonna be back at it again next year. Um, and this was literally, this was almost like a divine type intervention thing. So these things happen, hold your head up high. You've got an incredible team. Last year, they sent me this Roma kit. Now I'm gonna tweet out a picture. I'm not sure if Costa's Monolith has signed it. According to them, this is signed by the entire Roma side. So that is pretty sweet. We're gonna have that to uh, give us a little bit of luck in the background. But today's epi is about this Hero Monolith card. Now I'm gonna be in England when a hero team of the group stage, a team of the knockout stage tournament uh, uh, release comes out. So I'm not gonna be able to do an epi because I will be in England. So I thought to myself, what is the true impossible hero mindless challenge? And it is using his 84 rated card with the 10 finishing. It would be hilarious if EA maybe trolled and gave us a 99. Now we had to put together a full Roma side. We don't see El Shirawi's fin here right now. As a matter of fact, that's not quite the finish I was looking for, but we'll take it. We've got the foot birthday Perez, we've got Hector Moreno, we've got Jesus, we've got uh, we've got Alisson, who I believe is going to be the keeper, the starting keeper for the Brazilian national team. We've got ourselves color of the inform, De Rossi, if you put a Roma side together, of course you have to have De Rossi. We cashed out, we saw, uh, we splashed out 320,000 coins for this Florenzi card, which we haven't used yet. Nine Golan, we've got Cengi Zunder, and then we've got Sharawi, and then up top, obviously, we're going to take off Defel in place of Manalus. If you guys are hyped for the hero Manalus at Striker Episodia, Smash that like button. Let's try and crush something crazy like 4,000 likes for an emotional striker mindless episode. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, this is the impossible challenge because this will be our first two or three, pretty sure first two matches in division number two. Haven't played a match yet. It's going to be much more difficult competition. And I'm hoping that we can channel a little bit of that magic that Roma had yesterday and put it into this division two run. Los kids. Don't touch my San Pellegrino. Aha. Oh, the fell! Okay, so it's not quite a medalist goal, but we get a goal from the fell who is coming off the fell, however you want to say it. The most unlikely of goal scores, the layoff pass from De Rossi, and then the near outside the box, um, not finesse, but right footed blast. And immediately he comes off in place of Costas Manolas. Now, what is that going to mean for us? Of course, you know, we had to slap the Hunter chemistry style on him. He's going to be playing on five chems, so that means his pace is going to be around the 85-86 mark, because he's not going to get the full boost, obviously. Uh, his finishing would be 25 if he did get the full boost, which he is not again. So it's probably going to be something around, I want to say something around the 18-17 mark. Alisson with a great save. Got 
12 long shots, guys. We've had a couple chances. We've had a couple really good saves from Alisson. Um, I thought Florenzi might have buried that chance. The Russ, he's already chugging. He's already at like 70% fitness. Um, let me take a sip of my iced coconut macchiato with a little bit of almond milk. <laughs> oh god okay tells to gabriel jesus so Bra no brazil to brazil right tells or is it wait is tells portuguese or brazilian <laughs> Sharawi scoring. Was that, uh, Mandalus was nowhere to be seen. I'm pretty sure that was Chengiz. Was that Chengiz to, uh, El Sharawi? I was actually, as that ball was traveling in the air, I didn't have quite, I didn't have El Sharawi in my screen, so I wasn't 100% sure who we were sending it to. I thought it might have been Mandalus, and the between the finish, uh, between the leg like, finish from El Sharawi. 25 seconds adesso. Calcio funzione che sta per essere battuto, con palla ancora verso Salah. Ferma Magnanelli, ancora Perotti, ruba palla! Entra il sacro di rigore, ancora Perotti, Perotti, Perotti! Perotti. Il cross è finito! Gol! Gol! Al-Sharawi! Al-Sharawi ha messo d'accordo tutti! Tutti sopra! So, come on, Elsha! but for sure, 100% the game sealer. Costas Manolas, let's go, bro. Don't touch my San Pellegrino. You know when you juke someone out so bad they start freestyling on the ground? Match number one, and we get the 4-1 victory. It was, the stars have aligned, and we managed to get the 4-1 victory. Our first match in division number two. I said in yesterday or the day before Zeppi that we needed a good squad to go in division number two, and I wouldn't exactly call this, I mean, obviously it's a very good squad. Foot birthday Perez, foot birthday Florenzi, 88 foot birthday Florenzi, one of the best cards in the game, Nangolan, De Rossi, um, even, you know, Kolarov, but uh, Kolarov, outside of that, not a great squad, but we do, however, get two goals with El Sharawi, an incredible goal, uh, incredible second goal from El Shah, we get a really, really nice goal from Costas Manolas, and then he also provides an assist. I am leaving for England tomorrow, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be Wednesday's upload, leaving for England tomorrow, uh, to go for the Manchester Regionals as well, I have a special announcement that I'm gonna be announcing there, I might be going to see a Premier League match, I don't wanna give anything away, but there is a Premier League match that I might be catching on Saturday or Sunday. So maybe you guys try and guess which one I might. Not 100% sure if I'm going, but I might be going to. Let's get into our second and final match. Let's see if we can make it two back-to-back -back wins with our full Roma side. Surely the second match can't be any better, and it is going to be a Syria affair. He's got the Squire net. And again, in yesterday's FP, I didn't recognize who that player is as well. Am I an idiot? For sure. But you can always count on Nangolan for at least one banger. Goal. You just know it's gonna be a goal! The second you touch it with Florenzi and you know you haven't lined up, again, the only knock on Nangolan and then the 88 Florenzi uh, is the fact that they only have 3-star, three 3-star. Three but when you wind up a shot with that Florenzi, you know that it is going into the back of the net. Unlucky. Ah, oh, unlucky! Who is it, Perisic? No, Brozovic, right? Uh, his Brozovic puts him back level. 21st minute. Es interesiert mich nicht. Huh? Oh, she 
he's got a rocket. After 45 minutes, Brozovic and Florenzi are the difference makers. Scored an absolute screamer with Florenz in the uh, in the 12th minute, and then Brozovic kicks things off and draws things level for him in the 22nd. 12 shots, nine on target for him. Six shots, four on target for me. A uh, 51% possession. Again, a very very even match. And I, I, like I said, I think this is gonna have to be this is gonna have to be a Florenzi match. I was literally checking my email. Football blogging awards. This guy watches every replay. Good to know, dude. It's good to know, dude, because I'm gonna watch my replays now. I love watching replays, dude. I love going in for a close-up with El Shah, and I love watching every replay. Of a dying whale. When I think of Oh my God. Come on. A four three thriller. Is it too late to get an equalizer? I think it is. Oh my God, referee. We get a win and we get a loss, so we get three points. We get a 9.4 rating for Costas Manolas. Can someone explain to me why he has, okay, two assists. Uh, two assists, somehow he gets a 9.4 rating. I mean, we played well, as you guys can see, our defense obviously is what let us down. Attacking wise, we were really, really good. Chengi could have um, could have had a little bit more for him, but my man of the match was Costas freaking medalist. Now, it is only fitting that it was Costas Medalist that is our man of the match in the second and final match. We get three points. Uh, would have loved to at least even get one, but 18 shots, 13 on target. I would say this guy deserves to win, even though he was an absolute shit horse with the replays. Watched literally every replay. Three games, one 0 and one record in Division number 2, and I think the next epi where we're going to be in Division 2 is going to be with that striker to pie, Quincy Promes, and then, um, uh, striker Memphis to fight at striker episode if you guys are hyped for that episode yeah, smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below the hero of Rome Custos Manolas and the full Roma division 2 challenge episode yeah, is a wrap uh, Played pretty well. We got the one goal for Manolas even though he does have the 10 finishing and uh, Was just really impressed in the first match even in the second match user error I think came into play a little bit, but we managed to wrap it up if you guys are Roma fans Congratulations if you're Barca fans like I said keep your head uh, uh, held high you guys have an incredible I mean obviously there's no you don't even need to say anything the reason it's such a crazy thing is because Barca are that crazy that's why people are talking about it um as well Roma just had an inspired inspired effort but anyway boys I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time boys choose later a day